Hello friends, how you doing today? It's Sherry. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a good day. I am here for Thrifty Thursday and uh, this is a, an open collab hosted by me. And if you'd like to participate, just uh, let me know and I'll add you to my description box, your channel or your Instagram uh, link. And uh, yeah, and, and if you want to check out the other participants, uh, there's several listed. If you uh, would like to go over there and just uh, to click on the links and go to their channel in my description box and just check out and see if they have a thrifty video this week. Uh, they've been finding lots of uh, fun and really interesting uh, things to use in our junk journals and for crafting and paper crafting. It is uh, so much fun to see what everybody finds. So uh, this week I just have a few things. This will be probably not a very long video, but um, when you see this, some I'll let you know if I listed any of these things in my shop, but uh, Hopefully, uh, I, I do plan to, and hopefully they'll be listed in my shop when you see this video, like these two things here I'm going to put in there. But uh, these are some, I guess this was from a, a uh, crocheted uh, linen, you know, that I found at a thrift store, and I saw all these little squares. And see, here's the edge. Some of them have the edge, like the outer edge, this right here. This yellow was on the outer edge. And then the inside was like this. So I just snipped the little corners apart as best as I could. You know, everyone might not be perfect, but, <laughs> you know, I uh, put my glasses on and got my little scissors out and just snipped them apart as best I could so that we could use them in our junk journals. And they're so fun to use in uh, all types of things, but, you know, in clusters or decorating a pocket or something like that is what I would use them for. Uh, so, anyway, I've got a bunch of them. Uh, so let's see, I want to see if I can find one for you that's, see this is from the inside. A lot of them have that outer edge, and then some are from the inside where they just don't have any outer edge, and they just are a little, aren't they cute, with this natural colored here, and a little yellow center. And then the ones that, from the outer edge, have the yellow, yellow crocheted part on the edges. So, I have a whole bag of those. <laughs> you know so i have plenty to share so i will definitely be sharing those in my shop and then i have um some of these i think i saved one for myself but uh these are i see what do i have here one two i know i sent one to a friend too one two three four there's six of them one two three four there's 6 left okay so i must i think there maybe there was eight and i kept one and uh sent a friend one and, and so I'm going to put the rest of these in my shop but what they are are cloth napkins and they are sunflower let me show you so the back is plain like that yellow and the front has the pretty sunflowers and they're a nice big you know good size and they have the sunflowers and some leaves and this green border so you know a nice big uh, cloth napkin and it's kind of uh, thickish but not too thick I wouldn't say like uh, not cotton, not like, you know, a cotton, but like a cotton blend of some kind, like, uh, but not upholstery thickness. So I don't know. I hope that helps <laughs> to describe. Do they have a tag? Let me see. No tag, no tag. So that doesn't tell me. That doesn't help me any <laughs> to tell you what the uh, fabric, you know, type of fabric it is. But it might be 100% cotton. It just, uh, you know, it's kind of a thick, if it is cotton. 100% cotton. It's a kind of a thicker cotton. So uh, that's six of those that will be in my shop. Super pretty. I don't think any of them, none of them have stains or anything on them. So, and I got them in a thrift store. So uh, this is a little apron I'm going to put in my shop. I thought this was so pretty. Uh, I see, when I see napkin, I mean uh, aprons, I try to look at them really closely because I have brought them behind. There was one, was it an apron or a tea towel? Anyway, I brought it home. I thought it was perfect. And then I started, uh, I think I washed it and I was ironing it, getting ready to take pictures. I was like, oh, there was a stain on it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, where did that come from? But this is really pretty and I do not see any stains on here. It's just a little cute little apron. Isn't it beautiful? It has some, you know, I'm trying to think of where I got this. It has a price tag here. Oh, it says 50s apron. I think I got it at a thrift store, but I didn't. Uh, you know, this price tag wasn't for the thrift store. 
but it does say 50s apron on here so see right there I'll leave that on there but I didn't I don't remember what I paid for it but uh, uh anyway or maybe I just put that in the ad so I can take the tag off of there because it's kind of squishing the squishing the uh, little the little clo tie closure there together but uh I thought it was super pretty it has some little bridges here and uh, the flowers and everything and the water lilies so just a pretty little apron now let's see on me let me can let me stand up and tell you how long it is if I put it around my waist oh I say it's about five inches uh, from uh, five inches above my knee <laughs> so not a long one but it's super cute but not that you would you could use it for an apron or use it for whatever you want right <laughs> so um, whenever I see needlepoint if it's really nice I usually pick it up and I usually put it in my shop so I have uh, one time before picked up an unmounted uh, uh, needlepoint and so this one is supposed to be like like that one I picked up before was unmounted so it was supposed to be put into a frame but it wasn't put into a frame yet and I've found lots of not lots but several needlepoint pillows that I've sold in my shop and this is the first time I found something like this it's uh, you know a picture it says welcome here on the bottom it's a lighthouse I don't know how old it is I mean some of these stitcheries you know you just don't know there's no date on here or anything so there's no way to know but a lot of them are 70s and I just picked up a kit this week actually that I will show you it's still in my car at the moment but uh, there's a little string there but uh, yeah uh, it's from the 70s and I thought I don't know if I'll put it in my shop or I might actually make it myself <laughs> because it's mushrooms yeah it's a mushroom I need a little mushroom kit stitchery kit so I thought I might make it myself we'll see if I actually do that or if I end up putting it putting it in my shop but uh, this I found at the estate sale. I forgot to bring it out with my estate sale stuff, but it's a little tea towel that this is already in my shop. Is it already in my shop? Yeah, this is already in my shop. And I thought this was really pretty. It's a good size. The measurements are in the listing, but it's pretty color. This pretty green color. It has measuring spoons and cows and here's a fish. Here's a duck. Here's a carton of eggs. So uh, I there's some like fruit here. I just thought it was really pretty, and it looks like it was never used. Sometimes I've seen that at estate sales before, where people have these pretty tea towels, and they just ha apparently kept them in a drawer and never used them. <laughs> you know, they just kept them in a drawer in their kitchen with their towels, but they never pulled it out and used it. So you can just tell it was never never used, and uh, it's it's field crest. They have the label here, field crest blend of cotton rayon, rayon and linen so real nice one and it is in my shop so yep that that's one thing I got done <laughs> these I was about to list and I decided to go ahead and do the video and then I'll work on it but uh, uh, by the time you see this hopefully they'll, they'll be in there but these I also got at the estate sale you know I just had them in the other room where I was gonna take pictures so I didn't bring them in last week but super pretty um, pillowcases that I found at the estate sale I've already washed them and uh, they came out to just you know I didn't have to iron them or anything they just came out like this nice and uh, unwrinkly so <laughs> uh, I just thought they were very uh, kind of 70s maybe do they have any type of uh, label I don't see a label anywhere but I just thought they were really pretty uh, that's the only really um, linens I bought at that estate sale was that tea towel and this and the and the collars I saw showed you last week the crochet collars, but um, there was another lady. There are some sheets there, but I already have some vintage sheets, and I just don't want to deal with any more sheets right now. I'm trying to deal with the sheets I already have. <laughs> the sheets are big, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's a pair. So that will be a pair, go together in a listing. Um, this I also found at the estate sale. I forgot to bring that out last week. Like I said, all these things were on the table where I was getting ready to list them. So uh, the other things I wasn't listing, so that's why I had those all together for last week. But a Greg sh shorthand book, and I already have a shorthand book for myself that I use to put in my junk journal. So this one is going to go into my shop, and this I'm trying to think is this one from the 70s? 
I've seen this one before. In fact, I think my mom had this one. I think my mom had this one. So it might be from I'm trying to think when my mom when my mom was in school. Let me see. I'll tell you in a second. 1951. Yeah, this could have been one my mom used in school. Copyright 1949 here. Philippines copyright 1951. So I don't know. One or one or the other. Anyway, yeah, my mom could have used that. So I think my mom did have one because my mom let me use hers and, le and learn from hers when I was in school. So a uh, couple of typing books that are going in my shop. One of these I found at a thrift store. The other one I can't remember if I found it at th at the. Um, I think I did find one of these at. I don't remember which one now though, at the estate sale. But this is an older one here. I think this is. They're both old and vintage, but I think this is the older one. Let's let's check it out. I mean, just look at the typewriters. That you can tell by the typewriters that they show. <laughs> let's see. Let's compare. Let's compare. Let's see if this one has some typewriters in the front here. See this one? You know this is a younger typewriter, right? <laughs> so, wow. This is an oldie. But I must say, I think I got this one at the estate sale, actually. So, where is the year here? I don't see it there. Raleigh, North Carolina. State Textbook Commission. How can you imagine learning how to type on a typewriter like that? I've typed on I've I had one actually that I bought. I've sold it now, but I had one that I bought from eBay. It might have been an Underwood too. I'm not sure, but yeah, those keys are not easy to push. Let's see. Um, copyright. Let me see. Here it is. Oh my! I don't know if I looked at the copyright on here yet. 1936. Okay, let's see if there's any writing in here. The cover is in nice condition. It's uh, is it black? I think it's black or it might be navy blue and then so let's see there's that they wrote that they um somebody wrote a price right there so uh, i don't see any writing sometimes there's writing in these like usually in pencil so it can be erased this one is nice no it does have you know some natural distressing there we'll call it <laughs> and then you turn them over right and then Natural distressing, you know, browning, and but no rips, tears. I'm going through pretty quick, and there's I don't see any. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? I mean, sometimes it's the markups that they te that they're teaching you how to read the the markups. I, think I just oh yeah, see this is markups. This is not writing. This is how you learn how to um, you know revise a letter or whatever. So yeah, no writing. Wow, that's impressive. Because I, um, I've gotten them with, you know, quite a bit of pencil writing, and I've gotten them with no writing. So, so this one is in good shape too. I don't see any writing or tears. This one's of course a little younger. So that one was what we're going to say 1951, the later of the dates that we saw. And this one is. Here's all the information. Uh, 1965 again with the Philippines date 1965 printed in USA Philippines copyright 1965 so yeah a few years younger but still really nice burgundy cover and you can use these to make journals um, what I saw Diane do was she said she cut the top off and then or cut the you know the covers apart and then she bound it over here still so it opened like this and that's on her channel I've never made uh, in a journal out of a cover yet I just have the used the pages in my journal so far but I do have a couple saved for myself so that's why now when I get them I usually go ahead and put them in my shop is that it? Wow, we got through pretty quick, didn't we? So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. And just, um, you know, check if you like any of these things or need them or want them. <laughs> just check out my shop. And if they're not in there now, if I said it was going to be in there, if they're not in there now, they'll be in there in the next week or two. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoy my goodies. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy crafting and happy thrifting.